Dude, there's so many content creators out there that do a, an amazing job. Uh, but I did see something the other day before I, I start the stream. I just said that, but um, if you're a content creator and you do like true crime and whatnot, you know there's there's a line that you have to draw. Um, that line is your interference in actual cases that are going on that you don't have anything to do with. You're just a content creator. You're not the news. You're not an investigator. You're not a detective. Um, you're not Batman. You're also not the savior. So I saw a very interesting video of a content creator that has a, sort of like a news channel on TikTok, but she was approached by someone that was accusing the owner of a daycare that he had s a a kid. Uh, this lady went so far as to contact this content create, uh, creator and that person made a whole video about this man where she straight up accused him based off of what this person was telling her. As it turns out, he was completely innocent. There was an investigation, a thorough investigation done by, by law enforcement, and it was determined that it was a lie, and he had no fault. Mind you, they closed his daycare. He was put on a list. And, you know, it's, it's not to say that there are plenty of men out there that are disgusting and do this shit, but you have to have evidence to be able to accuse people of things. Uh... I didn't know that it was guilty until proven innocent. I thought it was innocent until proven guilty. So now this content creator is potentially going to get sued by this man because she stuck her nose in someone else's bag of cocaine instead of sticking your nose in your own bag. Mind your business. It didn't have anything to do with you. But the thing is, a lot of content creators, that's why there's plenty of law enforcement that don't like true crime fanatics. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't like true crime fanatics in general because it's not the first time this has happened. There's been plenty of cases where people interfere and, you know, they go to the crime scene and shit. If you don't have anything to do with it, it's not your place, which is why you should draw that line. I mean, you're not an investigator. You're a content creator. If the case is already finished, or if it's an ongoing case, I mean, you can inform people with the facts that you have up until that point. But once you involve yourself in someone else's business, and then you make that shit public, the internet is forever. I mean, that man's reputation is forever tarnished. Even with the results of the investigation being that he was innocent, the fact that that word is involved in the, now in that man's image to everyone, th that's it. He's either going to have to learn how to live with the biggest amount of pride and dignity that someone can try to live with, overcoming what anyone else thinks, or, dude, that could just fucking lead to someone committing suicide. Well, let's be real. He's, he's never going to recuperate from that. And this content creator gets to sleep at night. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty willy-nilly without any consequences to her actions. And I sincerely hope that when she does get sued for defamation, that courts find her guilty. And that sends a message, and it's like a ripple effect, to all other true crime content creators. You can inform, you can talk about a case, you could show whatever evidence that's provided by investigators in law enforcement. But putting yourself into the situation and then acting surprised as to why you're now involved when you literally made a video that went viral accusing someone of sexually assaulting a child. 
and, and you didn't even back it up with evidence. You just took this person's word for it and you ran with it. And now there's someone's life that's literally destroyed. What are you going to do about it? Like, what is this person going to do? She's going to have to take responsibility for it. Know your line. Like, know your place. Keep yourself behind that line. You don't need that shit in, in your life. Like, why do you need to put yourself into something that doesn't have anything to do with you? Why? You only had a certain amount of followers. It's not like you have, like, millions of followers that you could be able to make money off of it or anything. Like, this person was not able to make a dime off of that video. Yet, this person's, this man's life is destroyed. That's it. All because this person got involved in something that had nothing to do with them. Mind your business. I don't understand. Is there no shame anymore? Are people not embarrassed? Is, is that not something that people feel anymore? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, she made an apology video. And she might as well should not have done anything. Should have kept her mouth shut. Even after having put herself into that situation, she should have just not continued. And not even make the goddamn apology video. Because you made you just made yourself look way worse. If I would have been that person, I would have just closed the account and just try to keep myself away from it. Because she's already in it. So why fill shit up with more crap? That's completely unnecessary. Know your lane. Uh, stay in your lane. Stay in your spot. It, 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 it's not your place. It's people fucking crazy with this, with, with this notion that they have to be involved in everything. Because you have a platform, that means that you, that gives you like the right to be able to butt into other people's lives. Bro. It's not your business. What are you doing? Whatever. I hope her account is closed and I hope she faces those defamation. Uh, uh, that she's going to be facing when she gets sued by this guy. Because she's going to get sued. Dude, the video went very viral. That comment section in that video. Woo. Man, they put his name and everything in there. So it's not like people don't know who this man is. Like, they know who this person is. He is forever tarnished because of some random person's involvement in something that didn't have anything to do with them. Yo, we talk about these cases and shit, and I read about them and all this, but that's about it. I could post a video, maybe, if it's any pressing situation like the case that we saw about a week or two ago and it was a person that was still at large i mean it's information that the police is putting on their websites and stuff so you can share that they're actively looking for this person but butting into another person's life and destroying their life through social media which they will never be able to recuperate from that should have some sort of uh consequence to it it can't be that this person is just gonna live their life marry and nothing is ever gonna happen to them and you have consistently this problem happening of people butting into cases where they don't really need to be butting themselves like i don't understand i read a, that book i read those empty eyes by charlie uh, dalnia uh, one of the chapters is about a true crimer that gets involved in the case and it's from the perspective of the police ex like them expressing how much they hate that because uh, they're putting them they, they, they're putting themselves into an investigation that has nothing to do with them and tarnishing it with just bullshit do you guys remember the Gab uh, the gabby petito case the van where it was parked too there were people going to the van like someone leaked the address of where the van was and there were like true crime fanatics going there and taking pictures of the van and shit and like making videos right outside of it and whatnot trying to crack the case bruh oh, really it doesn't have anything to do with you why are you doing that like that doesn't make any sense what is the deal like if you're so keen into wanting to crack a case bro why don't you just take 
like those courses and whatnot why don't you learn about the procedures that are uh, established to be able to be a private investigator because that's a business you you could get a license and be a private investigator but why don't you do that and you don't do that what you do is you have a channel and you think that that is enough for you to go ahead and crack a case batman i guess is what we need to call you from now on the world's greatest detective bro you need to you need to chill with that well you're just hurting the people that are trying to get answers from this very tragic situation that's happening and you're there butting your nose in butting your nose in and then washing your hands and you're like i don't have anything to do with this oh and that's it and then you go home and you make another video about someone else stay in your lane that's it we don't need it you you don't need to get involved whatever that really ticked me off i have the video saved there and whatnot uh maybe next stream i'll show it or something i'd have to go through my phone and stuff but it's really horrible really horrible uh moving on i'm taking your precious time talking all this but uh...